Everything's dead. Nice clean map. Mission complete. Now, let's leave the area. And we got the treasure, so all is well in the world. Destroy the dual crater before she deploys landing troops. Destroy the everything before they do anything is basically how this works. Heat seeking system. Interesting. Electronic targeting, firing delay. U.S. Battleship 4 is apparently the treasure. We'll have to investigate that. Would it be possible to fit a single railgun on your prow in weapon slot 3? Um, I doubt it because they're freaking massive, but I can look at that for you. Mail mail guns. I'm gonna fire my mail at you. Railguns are literally massive. They take up a ton of space. Looting screens. Aegis system. Aegis system. Aegis system. Herp derp system. What was it? Battleship 4? US Battleship 4? Just way up here. It's a flat deck, 2,631, 2,250. There's really no reason to use it over what I've got, so nope. Also, here's the battle carriers at the end of the game. They're not too bad for endurance uh, and maximum load, but you can only use half of the deck for guns. So, that's a thing. Let us investigate here... I'm gonna go ahead and say no, I can't fit a railgun. I'll go ahead and show you how big they are, but I cannot fit a railgun. Anywhere on that vessel, <laughs> quite frankly. And this is why I cannot fit a railgun. They take up the they take up actually slightly more space underneath the deck than 80 centimeter guns. I think they're identical to 100 centimeter, and they take slightly more on top of the deck. Yeah, they're quite big. Like it's it's actually possible. Were I to do this, no, it's not. If I had somewhere else to put those two engine pieces, it's entirely possible I could put railguns right here. Um, the next level of battleship that I would actually use is not unlocked, now. Because the only thing inter interfering with it here is the machine guns, which I can just remove, but the engine bits below it are in the way. Which, I don't think there's anywhere I can put these to actually still be able to use them. Sadly. Because I would like to actually have some railguns for that kind of instance. Oh well. We'll live without them for now. When you get uh, like a, a dual hull battleship or something, you can definitely start using a lot of different guns, like railguns, big cannons, stuff like that, simultaneously. Oh no, it's this one. Let's actually investigate our Barracuda real quick, make sure it's as fast as we can get it to go. I don't think I need that many torpedoes. Well, we'll just leave those on there. Can we upgrade our nuclear reactors? I believe we can. So they go from 5,000 output to 20,000? That sounds about right to me for only 50 additional tons. Yeah, that's... Go ahead and do that. And that's probably the best we've got. Has no armor. It's really heavy. Those don't actually help me any removing them. Okay. It's just straight up heavy. <laughs> it's a very heavy submarine with very little on it because of the freaking nuclear reactors. On the plus side, we should be able to do this mission relatively easily and relatively quickly. After thought, I've uh, decided an AGS might do in the role you had in mind for the railgun. If your role is destroying other ships, it's probably not going to do that. 
Defense alert. Secondary objective added. All hands to surface stations. Look at how fast this thing is. Caught some weak super weapon noise, eh? This thing's so fast. Look at us cruise, man. We are cruising. We can get this thing above at 90 knots. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. This thing's devastating. Look at it go. Enemy ship sunk. They actually need to go down. So let us submerge. I almost hit a torpedo. We got this. Enemy ship sunk. Extremely weak. Turn it around. You have to actually be underwater to check the signal, I think. We're cruising, man. Super weapon noise, extremely weak. Let's try another sector. Let's try another face. There's only one more sector to check, so... The role is destroying small targets like PT boats. Oh yeah, it would definitely work in that role. I could probably find a spot to set that up. For that. That's, torpedo barely missed me. Didn't even notice it. I should probably be looking around to see if they drop any parts, but it might have sunk somewhere around this area. All hands to diving stations. Enemy sonar detected. All hands to stations. Incoming torpedo. You guys are really Enemy bad at your job. Sunk. Actually needs to go over there, but there's parts. All hands to surface stations. I like parts. I can actually go faster than my torpedoes. That's a fantastic sign. Enemy ship sunk. Is it gonna drop parts over there? Nope. They do that sometimes. You turn around to leave and then they just drop parts everywhere. It's terrible. You're darn right we're getting closer to our target. The super weapon is noise is... It's, it's noise. The super weapon is noise. Suck it. That was just shot in every direction. Yep, largest object ever hurt dirt. Destroy all enemy submarines and destroy all enemy ships. Okay. All hands to surface stations. Well, the submarines are almost all dead. There's also a single boat in the bottom corner. Interesting. I don't know if you guys can see it down there, southeast corner. Enemy ships. I want to blow up the submarines over there, but I also want to get this boat down there. Hello. Please don't fire lasers, because I can't really dodge lasers. I wasn't even locked onto anything. Whatever, it's alright. You guys really need some form of anti-submarine. Suck an aircraft carrier. It'll only even it'll get even more ridiculous as we get better auto reload systems. Incoming torpedo. Oh. Stop engine. Reverse engine. I'm hitting them accidentally. Stop engine. <laughs> just hilarious. Hilarious, indeed. Enemy ship sunk. That's a word. Reverse engine. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. Full speed ahead. It's just gonna get Enemy even more sunk. ridiculous. Don't even worry about that. Enemy aircraft carrier sunk. Do -do 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 -do. Enemy There's also a plane. It's possibly a cargo plane, but I have no way of shooting it down. I probably should sort of put a single machine gun on this thing for that. Because if it is a cargo plane, that's treasure I'm going to miss. Because I have no way of killing it. It's not cargo planes. And thus, I do not care. I mean, if I showed up and this submarine was going around at 90 knots firing 700 torpedoes, I'd be less willing to attack it, quite frankly. Something makes Moomin think, oh dear god, what have we done? 
Somewhere, sometime, you're gonna use the name Larius, specifically for High Larius. Oh, dear God. Alright, hang on. Oh no, that's a Vanguard, just a single battleship over here for some reason. Stop shooting me with freaking machine guns. Yeah, how's that working for you? It's going pretty well, isn't it, buddy? Stop Hello. Have some more. Enemy now. Sunk. Stop engine. Full speed ahead. Is he... He's crashed. He just flew all the way over here to run out of fuel and, like, try to hit me or something. Why is Sleepy using the sub? Mission requirement. It's not actually a bad vessel, but, you know. It lacks the raw damage of the battleship, so that's mostly what I use. Two more subs and a couple more boots. Time to go 90 knots in this direction. Wish I could do 90 all the time. Why doesn't he submerge when fighting? There's no reason to. If they had lasers, I would be submerged. And we're faster on the surface, yeah. Just because they're firing standard cannons, I have no real risk of dying. So I have no real reason to go underwater to avoid dying. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Stop engine. Full speed ahead. Stop engine. Reverse engine. This thing takes stop ages engine. to stop moving. Full speed ahead. No, I want to kill the subs. Game. There are apparently no lasers in this mission, uh, which is odd. Also, those subs are now dead. Hooray! I didn't really vastly upgraded the sh upgrade the ship. Enemy ship sunk. I gave it new engine bits, Enemy but ship sunk. other than Secondary that, it has the same complete. weapons it's had for ages. No, not auto fire. Mission complete. Yeah, the now, angle. Let's leave the area. You leave the area. Tell me when to leave the area. I still don't understand why that mission is called Giggling Demon. A new plasma gun. That's a thing I won't use. And a new crab laser. It's also a thing I probably won't use. Oh yeah, the, the fact that it can now outrun the torpedoes it fires is fantastic. Best cutscene ever, and then save game. Look at your submarine, save game. Clash in the North Sea. Hopefully this mission isn't too bad. I'm just gonna keep blazing through missions today, I guess. Until we either get stuck on something or it gets too late to continue. We have a million funds again. Hmm. We could use this sub for this mission. Like we'll use this soul ripper instead. Even though it's slower, primarily because it has massive cannons on it and it weighs 35,000 tons almost. Secondary objective. Does, what? The battle has already begun. Yes, that's Full because they're ahead. right behind me. All hands alert. They spawned two carriers and three cruisers behind me. Oh no, three carriers. That's terrible, game. Why would you do that? And they have lasers, too. Light damage. Oh dear. Enemy ship sunk. That was a terrible idea, game. Why would you do that? Light damage. And now there's going to be a million missiles on the screen because of planes. Enemy ship sunk. Light oh yeah, AGS. Forgot about that. Well, that was Moomin's job. You had one job, Moomin. That was to blow up some carriers. Some Aquila carriers, specifically, which are quite beefy and have lasers on them. Like that. Interestingly, the carriers are actually the strongest thing here so far. It's alright, though. Should I use the sub? No, I don't think the sub would be able to kill the carriers very well. It has decent firepower, but it doesn't have enough to kill high-end EL2 ships, which those carriers are. Keep in mind, these cannons are doing 4k a shot, and it takes many shots to kill those. The submarine cannot do 4k a shot. Can't even do close to 4k a shot. 
Holy crap, why does he have so much ammo now? Um, I don't have that much. It's how much ammo the guns come with. What are you shooting at? That dude. That went well for you. Also, missiles into space. Also, it's, it's gonna start raining now. Fantastic. Oh, I have so much missile ammo? That's because that's how much the missiles come with. These are rams. Rolling carriage air missile doodad things. Okay. What's over here? Sheffield's those, which are terrible, and I hate the fact that they exist in this mission. I'm actually now greatly concerned about my ability to live. It's not because they're auto-fire missiles, it's because they're missiles meant to replace other anti-air memes, so they have a lot of ammo. Uh, there's other, you know, the anti-air missiles, for instance, auto-fire, but they don't have very much ammo, and they auto-fire way too rapidly, so they're not very good. They're really good against, you know, say, a flying super weapon, which the RAM are not specifically good for. By the way, ASROC stands for Anti-Sub Rocket. Despite the fact that it says rocket, they are actually classified as missiles in this game and not rockets. Which is bizarre, because there is a rocket category. Five cruisers sunk. Thank you. Please keep me informed on the quantity of cruisers I have sunk. Basically, RAM are meant to replace your, say, CIWS or high-angle guns for anti-air purposes. I should shoot while I'm picking up these parts, otherwise they're just going to slowly murder me. And by slowly, I mean relatively quickly. Don't turn left, turn right. If you turn left, you go into the other fleet, which is obviously Enemy a bit subpar. Sunk. Light damage. I need to be slightly closer to these people to hit more accurately, but then if I'm slightly closer, they hit more accurately, and that's obviously a bit subpar. Light damage. And then they light fire me on fire. Deck. But then they light me on fire anyway, so... Can I just kill one of you? Eventually? Enemy battleship sunk. I don't really care which one I kill, so long as I kill Enemy something. Sunk. Like this dude. Enemy See, when I hit him, it does really well. Just Enemy hit stupid sunk. things. Enemy battleship sunk. You! I'm gonna have to repair because I am Light quite damage. severely hurt. Enemy ship sunk. Yeah, we're gonna have to repair. While that Beginning dude's firing repair. lasers at me. Please stop firing Light your damage. laser beams at me. No, don't fire more at me. Stop firing them at me. Light damage. That's explicitly what I told you Army not weapons. to do. Full speed ahead. Heavy damage. I wish I had the ability to fire that many lasers simultaneously. When do railguns become stronger than cannons? Never. Well, actually, they're technically already stronger than this gun, but... It's DPS, man. DPS. They have garbage DPS compared to these things. Even with the inaccuracy, they probably have garbage DPS. I mean, if I had auto reload system, uh, whatever it ends on, Y, whatever the I is, they would reload relatively quickly, but then these would reload almost instantaneously. So, comparing them when they have a reload up to this thing, when they have a reload up, it's irrelevant. I'm on fire. I'm always on fire. It is severely irritating. You can make yourself immune to fire, it just makes your hole weaker. As in, like, it's gonna make me really easy to kill. Mission accomplished, except not. Because there's a lot of stuff left on the map. A lot of stuff, actually. And I want that S rank. AGS. Repairs complete. Arming weapons. Full Don't be shouting ahead. at me about your AGS nonsense. Where would I put it? Ready I could remove attack. a few uh, machine guns in the middle and put it there. 
it's likely. So there's three groups and then a carrier group over there. Over yonder. Are they coming towards me or being a dirt? And it's possible they're being a dirt. Well, they're coming towards me, kind of. Those cannons are the strongest in the game. Uh, for main cannons, they're the most useful in the game. For strongest in the game, you, well, actually, they probably are the strongest, actually. It's also the 100 centimeter, but A, they're bigger, and B, uh, I think they have slightly less damage. And possibly the same dispersion with a higher reload, so. I don't really know the point of the 100 centimeter ones. Enemy ship sunk. I mean, I could use railguns, and I could use them to the point where they're actually Enemy viable, but Enemy it would take, sunk. you know, I would have to be faster so I could maintain Enemy range, so there'd actually be a reason to use them. Because if I'm not maintaining range and Enemy next to them, I may as well just shoot them with cannons. And I don't believe I have the technology to make a fast enough battleship to actually do that. Because I need some Enigma tech to do a fast battleship. Which sucks, but eventually I'm going to have Enigma tech on everything anyway, because it's just that good. When it doubles your HP, makes you faster, makes you more maneuverable, and then you get ones that, like, fire all your weapons for you. Ones that make you immune to all, uh status effects, you know, stuff like that. It's pretty good times. If these idiots would, like, come to me, that'd be great. Where's the leader of this group here? It's too far away. Right, well. I'll shoot at this dude. And probably miss. If I do hit him, I've then hit him with an 80 centimeter shot to a plane. It's definitely not going to hit them, though. You know what? Fine. Screw Mission you, complete. people. Now, they're all floating away from me. I ain't got time for this nonsense. Wait for these idiots to come towards me. Still got an A. Which gave me something worthless. But I got an A, and A's are really good on your report card. Oh, we're going to another boss fight. Against a flying dude, if you remember. X-ray ordnance, what's that? It's really small, fairly bad um, optical weapon. It's really small, so you can fit a bunch of them, but you can't fire them all at the same time, so it's null and void. Nope, not new vessel, you dangle. You dangleberry! How quickly am I going to die? Uh, I probably, if it goes well, I won't even get hit, so that becomes mostly null and void at that point. Can I fit them in that space? No, not quite. Unless I'm, can I make them taller and fit them in there? Aha! How tall do I need to make them? That tall. And then replace that machine gun. Or not. Oh, I didn't make it tall enough. God dang it. You can actually... No, no, no. You can actually make the machine guns taller too, but I don't know why you do that, considering it would actually make them harder to position. There we go. We now have some AGS on there. Oh, it. Oh, it'll die really fast. So now we have some little, little tiny, really, really good cannons on the side. Which I put in both directions so I can fire forward and backwards, for those of you curious why I put two pairs of them. There they are. Very angled and sleek. Anyway, let's go blow up a dude. I could kill him with the AGS guns, but it'll probably take a while. What do they do? Shoot bullets. Very fast and very accurately. 
I do, what is it, 150 damage a pop? Which isn't all that much, but... Hello. Random BBH. Also, the boss is, like, right next to me. I've seen you before, you dangle. Hello. And he's dead. Oh no, I missed. Oh well. It's kind of a good thing I missed, because I think it was over the dock there. There's no way I'm going to hit that without aiming at that range. Come back! I want to blow you up. I know you have missiles, but come here. I know he's just he's going to go bomb that. Did he just bomb a plane? That's a very silly idea. Also, there's a huge transport over there that just died. Hello. About time he showed up, friend. And he's dead. Super weapon destroyed. I win! Hooray! My cannons are in that position. He hurts if he Stop hits engine. you, by the way. That's all he dropped was two parts. Stop engine. Full speed ahead. That's literally all he dropped. That's disappointing. Let's drop these AGS, because why not? That's what they do. So, you know. They do that. Let's find something to shoot at with them. How about that? They don't have terrific range, but... They've got fairly decent range. There's a dude on my right somewhere. There he is. Let's go shoot him with them. Because why not? My cannons are all, like, sideways because that's where they were pointing when I had them selected. Let's point them all over here. Kind of, like, get them up. Like in salute position, sort of. There you go. Close enough. Pew, 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 pew. You can see they do decent damage, considering how much health this dude has, so... If they hit, there they go. And I should almost always have two of them firing because of how they're set up. As they proceed to miss him with, like, all of the shots. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy face sunk. Transport ship? Nope, battleship. That over there's probably a transport. Running off of the map, doing whatever it feels like doing. I can't see it, though, so... I just want to check. It's probably not. It's probably another battleship being a doofus over there, but I may as well check because this dude fires lazy at me. Light oh. damage. Very rude. Should be over here somewhere. Can't see him yet. Would you stop shooting me? Making my controller vibrate. I told you earlier about that fast sniper ship idea. I don't have the tech to do it with a battleship. It's a transport. And it's a penguin. Can we kill it before it gets off of the map? Becomes the question. Bombard it. Bombard it with all the things. We killed it. On the first volley, we killed the stupid thing. <laughs> it was fairly unexciting. Whatever. It almost made it off the map, though. It was dangerous. Do it with a different hole type. Um, you realize how big railguns are, right? One does not simply stick railguns on a cruiser and call it a day. You could probably fit them on there, but then you can't fit much of an engine on it, and thus it's going to be slow and then nullifies kind of the point of it. One of these days, parts box, I will get to you. And I will have your treasures. And then I will drink tea, because I like tea. We'll see what the mission is after this. We'll do that, and then we'll probably end the set Classified there. Information seized. May as well get the boat, since it's there. The dinghy, the doodaddle bottle, mission whatever complete. it is. Now, let's leave the the doodaddle bottle, yes. That is a technical term for dinghy, if you're curious. What did I get for my treasure? 
A steam turbine A. Steam turbine alpha is something... Am I going to use that? Hmm. It's a good question. That's propulsion. Would that uh, unlock additional propulsion for me? Because we've been stuck on propulsion since, like, the beginning of the game, almost. And better propulsion means better efficiency, means Pillar of Heracles, means faster speeds. Let us investigate this. I am most curious. Most curious indeed. Also, we're not doing pil uh, Pillar of Hercules yet. Oh my god. Rejoice. Also, spend all of the money to just do this now. That efficiency's barely going up. Throw all of the money at it. So we went from... 43 efficiency to 52 efficiency. whoop de doo but still... It makes all the difference. Do I have new systems? I have a new attack system? What's going on here? What do I have? This. GPS INS. Something I'll never use, but I'll research it anyway. And a defense system. Uh-oh. It's kind of irrelevant because I already have one that's better than that, but progress is being made. Things are being researched. Slowly. Very, very slowly. What about rockets? I can get a new flamethrower, which is slightly less crappy than the previous flamethrower, and takes 16 turns to finish. Very silly quantity of time to finish. So if we put our new engine bits on our Soul Ripper, how fast does she go? Let us determine this. Also weighs less, interesting. So 44.2 is what we have, goes to 47.7. Not much, but, you know, does make a difference. That's literally all I wanted to change on this, wasn't it? What does it go to if I drop this a little bit? I have to drop that a lot, though. Yeah. In fact, 102,000. Yeah, let's put that on there. Can I get it to 50 reasonably? No. I can do that, though, and that's not too bad. So we can go 48.5 knots now, which is a decent increase from what we had before. I am pleased with this. I am going to save and then end it because we're not doing Pillar of Heracles today because it's actually a relatively long mission and I do not have the time to do that right now. So thanks for watching and me and the Supreme Trireme will see you all next time.